Pastor Ben and I are here today to say hello and say that we miss you. Mm, yes, we miss you. We miss seeing your smiling face here at North Park Church. We miss the nursery bursting with babies. We miss the kids' worship rooms alive with activity. We miss talking to you after the service and catching up. We miss you. Another reason we're here today is to let you know that we've brought back the gingerbread house tradition. Yes! Yeah, thank you. I want a place to live. Although we can't be together this year to make these houses, we can still make it happen. So, you have received your kit now, and in this kit you'll find all kinds of candy, graham crackers, frosting, and can I lots eat them? of... Oh, absolutely, oh, yes. that's part of the fun. Oh, good. So that you can make your own gingerbread house at home. Have fun with that. Making gingerbread houses is one very special tradition that many of us use to celebrate Christmas. And some of the other things we do to recognize this important time of year are setting up a Christmas tree, maybe hanging a wreath, putting up decorations inside and out of your house, making Christmas cookies, sending Christmas cards, drinking hot chocolate by the fire, giving gifts to those we love, maybe going through the Advent pocket with your family, or even going out of your way to do something kind for someone else. Those are all great things to do to celebrate Christmas. Let's also make the time to read the birth story. Go back and reflect on Jesus, his birth, his life, and why he came to be our savior. Let's spend time with God and thank him for our many, many blessings. You might be asking yourself, how does making a gingerbread house relate to Christmas? Well, this is Advent season, and in Advent season, we wait for Christ to come back. Just like the Jews were waiting for their Messiah, you and I wait for Him to come back. Listen to what the Apostle John says will happen when God comes back to earth. This is Revelation 21. He says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the home of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. So as you build a little gingerbread house, remember, God is building a home, and he's going to bring that home to earth so he can be with you because that's what we anticipate and wait for this Christmas season. So thanks everyone for being part of this yes, long so standing much. tradition here at North Park Church. Mm -hmm. We encourage you to take lots of pictures of the building process, of the final product, and then use the link to upload them and send them back to us so we can share them with everyone. Mm -hmm. and thanks you might everybody. Get, you might get prizes too. <laughs> that's right. Yes. So thanks everyone. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh hi, thanks for joining us tonight. We are very excited to do our annual gingerbread event. Even though it looks a little bit different this year, we're very happy that you are deciding to carry on this tradition at home this year. If this is your first time building a gingerbread house with, uh, with us, then uh, this is gonna be a great tutorial for you on how to set up your house. And if you've done this before, you're a pro and uh, this will just be a good reminder for you. So, let me start off with just going through the basic ingredients and construction materials that, you, that you'll need. Um, and this year, as you do your project, I want you to think about a couple things. I want you to think symbolically of this plate, the sturdy plate you have as your foundation, just like God's Word is our foundation for our faith. And this right here, this is going to act as your glue. And I want you to imagine the glue as being Jesus Christ, because He is the glue that holds together our gospel and our whole, uh, our, our faith. Next, I want you to think about uh, this right here, your uh, milk carton as you. And this is what you're going to have eventually finally decorate. Okay, so with the help of Jesus Christ and our firm foundation, the Word, uh, you are going to sit right here and you are going to, going to make a ma magnificent, wonderful uh, project. Um, just like how God has made you with wonderful gifts and talents. So, here's how you're going to begin. You're going to take your firm foundation and you're going to take Jesus Christ that holds it all together. 
the glue and put it at the bottom of you. And you're gonna stick yourself on God's firm foundation right there. If you notice, it's nice and sturdy already. So the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take some of your glue and you're gonna start decorating your house. How you're gonna do that, you're gonna start off by adding your walls with your graham crackers. Put some glue on each side and stick them on your house. Okay, and then you're gonna need a real big dollop of glue right on the top of your house to get that roof to stay on. And that's how you're gonna get started. You're gonna do that on all the sides and all the, all the roof parts. And then what you're gonna do afterwards is you get to start decorating it. Just like God has decorated with you with amazing gifts and talents, you're gonna decorate your house that is rooted in Jesus Christ and in God's Word. Think about how you like to decorate it. A lot of people in the past have spread out icing all over the outside of the plates and constructed snowmen and trees and chimneys on your house and windows and things like that. So whatever idea you have is wonderful and perfect, just like you. So I hope you enjoy this project. Enjoy this holiday season. We miss you. Thank you for doing this at home. And enjoy. Have a great time.